Welcome. In this short video, we're going to show how to share notes between Roots Magic and Family Search Family Tree. In other words, how to take notes that are attached to a person in Roots Magic and send them up to Family Search, or how to take notes that are up on Family Search for a person and bring them down into Roots Magic. Now, I'm going to assume that you've already become familiar with how to match a Roots Magic person up with the corresponding person up on Family Search from watching our previous videos. So I am going to click on the Family Search icon for John Rostron Booth, and that's going to open up the share uh, data, the Family Search screen for this person, which shows my Roots Magic person side by side with the matched up Family Search person. Now, the screen we're interested in, the tab, is this Notes tab, and when I click on that, what we're going to see are all the notes that have been attached to my person in Roots Magic side by side with all the notes that have been attached to that matching person up on Family Search. And you're going to see two things for each note. You're going to see a title or a subject, and you're going to see the first line of the note. And if you want to see the full note, you can either hover over that and you can see it kind of quickly, or you can click that little information icon and see the full note and be able to scroll up and down and look at the note, whether it's on the Family Search side or on the Roots Magic side. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things we can do from this screen. Okay, let's see first what I can do with a Roots Magic note. So I can look at a note. Here's a person note with some information in. I'm going to click the little checkbox, and it's going to give me two options. The first option is to add, just add this note to Family Search. So I could, at this point, just select who I want to attach it to, in this case, John Rostron Booth. The, uh, the families will be listed. In case this happens to be something like a marriage note, I could choose to attach it to the family instead. But in this case, um, I'm, I would want to attach it to the person, John Rostron Booth, and I could just click Add This Note to Family Search, and Roots Magic will take my note as is and add it to Family Search, as simple as that. But Roots Magic does actually let me edit the subject and the note itself before I actually copy it up to Family Search. So I could come in here and say, let's get rid of all of that right there. And let's say this is a, um, a uh, death, death note, something like that. And I could then click Add That Note to Family Search, and Roots Magic will add this as the note to Family Search. Be aware that any changes that I make right here do not change my note on Roots Magic. They don't make a change to my original note. They're only changing what is actually going to be added up to Family Search. Okay. The second option, and this is a really nice one, is to add the note as a source to Family Search. Now, this is particularly useful for people who have been using PAF for a long time. Back in the early days uh, working with PAF, it didn't actually have sources. And so people put any sources into the notes for the person in PATH. And they, ha they haven't had a way to actually easily get those notes, those sources, out of their notes into uh, sources up on Family Tree. Well, this makes it easy to do that. So I can say I want to add this note as a source to Family Search, and now instead of having subject and a note field, I have a title, the URL, the citation, the note, all of the fields that Family Search uses for sources. And again, I can make changes here if I want. So I could come up here and let's say that the title of this source, I just want to use the name of the actual book, so I can highlight that, and then I can right click and say, copy that. And I can come up here and I can paste that in. So I can change the title there. And then for the citation, I really don't need this part that says that this is a death, you know, the tag for that. So I can delete that from the citation. And then I need to choose what fact or what, what I want to actually attach this source to up on Family Search. So since this was actually a death source, I can scroll down here and select death. And it's going to also select the person because it attaches 
the source to the person and tags it as being a death source. Now, let's say that this, what I had in my notes, also had a URL to the website where you could see this document. Well, I could, again, highlight that, cut that out of the citation, and come up and paste that into this URL field. Likewise, if part of what I had in family in, in Roots Magic in this note talked about this citation, in other words, it really wasn't part of the citation, but it was a note about it, I could copy or highlight and cut that out as well and put it down into the note. Once I have selected and made whatever changes I want right here, I just click Add Source to Family Search, and Roots Magic is going to add this family search, attach it to John Rostrum Booth, and tag it as a death source. Okay. Again, like when I added the note to Family Search, any changes or copy and pasting that I do right here is not going to affect my original note on Roots Magic. It's only affecting what I'm actually adding to Family Search. Now I'm going to hop out here for a second. Now, if I had chosen to add it as a note, you would see that new note show up right here in the Notes tab. If I had chosen to add this note as a source, you would not see any change here. What you would see is when you went to the Sources tab, you would see that source we just added as a new uh, source here, that, and it would say it was tagged to the death. Okay, so those, that, those are the options for what you can do with a Roots Magic note. You can copy it or add it over to Family Search as a note, or you can add it over to Family Search as a source. Okay, so now let's take a look at what we can do with a note that is up on Family Search. When I click on this, I have three options here. The first option is pretty straightforward. Delete this note from Family Search. If I select that, all I need to do is say delete the note, and it will let me delete this note right here from Family Search. Doesn't affect Roots Magic on any way, it just deletes that note from Family Search. Second option is to edit this note on Family Search. So if I actually wanted to make changes to this note, and I'm not worried about anything on the Roots Magic side, but I actually just want to change the note on Family Search, I can click Edit This Note on Family Search, and it's going to put the subject and the note as they exist right here, and I can go make whatever changes I want. So I can, I can edit, make whatever changes I want, click Save Modified Note, and it changes that note up on Family Search directly. The third option is to add that note to Roots Magic. In other words, take this note that's up on Family Search and bring it over to Roots Magic. And at this point, I can go in and I can make any changes I want. Um, I could come in here and I could put, uh, you know, this note came from Family Search. Again, any changes I'm making here are not changing my original note. They're only being made to what's coming over to Roots Magic. So if I add information, if I delete information, if I change information, it's only making that change to the note that's actually coming over. And finally, I need to tell what I want this to be attached to in Roots Magic. And since this happens to be a birth note right here, I'm going to check birth. I want it to be attached to the birth note in Roots Magic. And then I can say add this note to Roots Magic. And you'll see now, in addition to the person note I had before, I now have a copy of this birth note. And this is what I was talking about before. If I click on more details, in Roots Magic, I have that original note plus this note came from Family Search, that part I just added. Whereas on Family Search, it didn't change what was on Family Search. Family Search stays the same. What it's doing is letting me, in either, in either case, going from Roots Magic to Family Search or from Family Search to Roots Magic, it's just letting me make changes so that I can either copy exactly what was in Roots Magic to Family Search or vice versa, or I can make a change to it before I actually commit to transferring it over. And that is an overview of how to share notes between Roots Magic and Family Search Family Tree.